Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Welcome to the Light Space. I've met a few people during my life who experience a strange sense of inadequacy from not having a creative hobby. An almost guilty feeling that stems from lacking a skill like playing an instrument or painting, for example. When most people hear the word creative, these are the usual outlets that come to mind. But if you have the capacity for movement and coherent thought, you have a limitless source of creative power at your command. Even when we construct a sentence, we have to be creative with our choice of words. What you choose to do with your life, or even your day, is at the mercy of your creative decision. If you think those things don't allow much space for creativity, something is about to change. Your thoughts hold endless power and potential direction. What you focused most of your thought energy on will become the direction you slowly head in. Do you realize the amazing significance of this? You can think whatever you want, and therefore choose whatever you want. The only barrier is a lack of belief. When you consistently practice positive thoughts, your mind will naturally start to incline that way most of the time. Choose the most imaginative thoughts that provide the greatest feelings. Here's what's going to happen. At first there will be a part of you that says, that's ridiculous, it's just a fantasy, it's unrealistic. But the more you channel your thoughts this way, the faster your mind will start to accept these new thoughts as actual possibilities. Soon things will start to appear in your life that complement your thoughts and present them as a tangible outcome. The negative voice will go from saying that's unrealistic to well done you did it, because you practice the art of belief and focused thought. Many people might say that sounds easy, but you'd be surprised how many people lack imagination and aren't willing to go beyond what they think they know. Depression often stems from a sense of hopelessness and lack of purpose in life. But this can always be fixed. Do not make the mistake of seeing yourself as a victim, going through an unnatural stage in your body's chemistry. That is the negative perception that causes real suffering. Sometimes your body and mind will go through phases of low energy, usually during times of confusion or loss. Yield to the feeling rather than resist, it just means you're in need of a short rest. The more you go with it rather than resist, the faster it will pass. One way of expediting this situation is of course creativity. You cannot feel depressed and creative at the same time. This doesn't mean you have to go and paint a masterpiece, but simply do something you've never done before. Go somewhere you've never been, choose a new direction in life, or do something totally random, like dancing like a lunatic to a song you've never heard. Express yourself in a way that is new to your body and brain your mind will start to recalibrate and pull you out of the funk. We live in a world of limitless possibilities. We often get stuck inside our box because of our lack of imagination and willingness to explore new options. Open your mind and ask what else there is to see that hasn't been seen yet. The answers always show up. One of the greatest forms of this exploration is doing something that scares the shit out of you. Your mind has no time to be depressed if it is busy adapting to new circumstances or experiences. Be brave and do something that involves courage. The rush of stepping outside your comfort zone is one of the greatest highs of life. Challenge yourself, it's what makes life interesting. It's strange how many people seem to be comfortable with conforming and never challenging themselves, remaining in circumstances that aren't serving them, or being okay with not having what they want in life. Why are so many of us fine with showing cowardice rather than courage? Surely the latter has so much more appeal. We all have that warrior potential within us. Exploration is in our genes. You'll never know what you're truly capable of until you try. To lose hope means to lose hope in yourself. One of my favourite books, The Fifth Agreement, talks about the importance of having faith in yourself to create a life of ease. We have the real potential of remaining in a constant state of heaven, but it takes amazing self-mastery first. Depression can be a thing of the past, as our perceptions have all the power. Learning to believe in myself was one of the hardest things I ever had to do. From my experience, the fastest route to self-belief is with courage. When you do something brave that stands out from what many others are doing, your confidence will start to grow, but when you see real proof that your new act of courage is working, your self-belief will skyrocket. You'll say, hey, I can do this. I'm not just a victim of circumstance. The power for change has been within me this whole time. Once you've got to that point, you're on a very exciting and rare adventure that not many people get to see or even know about. Practice being brave by challenging yourself and taking bold action in life. Be different to the crowd and carve out your own path. The only validation you need is from yourself, or at least those of the same ambition. Practice the mantra, I am brave or I am courageous, every day for a month. Study people who have what you want in life. Influence is extremely powerful, so be selective with your mentors. You don't have to know all the answers first. 
You just have to make a conscious choice that you want to seek a better life, and a new direction will appear. Just be sure to walk down it without hesitation and stay brave along the way. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.